Hello everyone. Good day to all of you. Starting from today, we are going to have a lecture series which are based on the published paper. And the benefit benefit of this lecture series would help you to understand the paper which has been published in world leading leading journal and also presented in some of the international conferences so i would like to invite different researcher from all over the world and also i will present some of my own paper or my own research uh, during this lecture series which will helps you to understand the paper so for today topic which is actually the first paper we are going to present is the enhanced crustal scale depth imaging using least square rtm for of short steamer seismic depth so this paper is actually presented in uh, society of Ex exploration geophysics conference which is scg annual meeting last year and dr yasif going to present uh, he is actually associated with institute of geophysics in poland and he's going to explain what he has done in this research if you go to the link on the top here uh, i will give this link into the description as well so you can access the paper and this is a paper looks like so you can go through the abstract and all the way of doing this seismic imaging with a new research so if we talk about the affiliation and the contributor of this paper is dr yasir is a main author then we have from andrejes and also michael and myself of the contributor of this paper so the main objective of this paper will be to discuss about the least square rtm method its efficiency and also we will talk about the uh, sustainability of least square rtm method on short offset Multi, multi channel seismic data and also we will compare the crick of psdm pre stack depth migration and least scale rtm which is the novel techniques and also we will indicate the limitation and of the techniques and overcomes of these techniques so this is a quite extensive research which has been done by dr yasir and he is going to present and without further delay i would like to invite dr yasir to give a presentation on on the topic of the paper thank you so much and now the floor is yours thank you so much uh, hello everyone uh, i hope you are doing well and thank you very much uh, for joining us today i am going to talk about an enhanced crystal scale depth imaging using list score rtm which is applied on uh, short streamer seismic data in this presentation uh, first we discuss about the significance of subduction zones in earth's crust and also we discuss about a subduction zone which is located in Nankai Trough uh, offshore Japan and uh, uh, then uh, we explain why least score R team is uh, important for this research and also we uh, explain the objectives of this research uh, following by methodology uh, including forward modeling and applying least score RTM and Kirchhoff uh, uh, depth migration. Then we have the results and uh, we discuss it in details. Uh, finally, we have the conclusions. As you know, analyzing lithospheric structures helps uh, scientists to better understand uh, important geodynamic uh, processes. Uh, such as uh, forming of uh, oceanic ridges, nucleation and propagation of uh, megathrust earthquakes, and also evolution of uh, volcanoes. Among all geological events in crustal scale depth, uh, subduction zones are highly associated to those uh, geodynamic processes. Uh, as illustrated in this uh, uh, figure, a subduction zone is a region of the Earth's crust where tectonic plates uh, meet. Uh, 
and uh, in terms of uh, geological setting uh, it is considered as a complex uh, structure containing major faults uh, steep dips low velocity zones uh, which are uh, a big uh, which are big challenges uh, for seismic imaging all right uh, this uh, slide is uh, presenting the study area which uh, we have chosen for our research uh, non kitraf as one of the most uh, complex subduction zones on earth and it has been subject of numerous researches uh, since uh, large devastating earthquakes occurred cyclically in this area with the recurrence time measured to be between 100 and 200 years it is uh, located in offshore japan and the length of whole fault region uh, as you can see here from uh, shikoko island to tokai uh, island is uh, about 530 kilometer and uh, it is divided into four uh, fault uh, parts uh, it is important uh, to study this area as uh, the easternmost Tokai part uh, segment D uh, as you can see here in uh, uh, this figure uh, stayed unrupted since 1854 uh, and it has the potential of being a megatrus earthquake site uh, furthermore, the trough is potentially a considerable source of hydrocarbon. In this area, a large sediment-dominated uh, accretionary prism was developed due to subducting of the Philippine Sea Plate below the Eurasian uh, Plate towards the north-west. Uh, one of the studies that inspired us to continue uh, our research on Nankai Trough is a research that has been done by Anjay, uh, where uh, Kirchhoff uh, depth imaging uh, uh, was applied on uh, FWI velocity model, and we have uh, uh, we we have this uh, nice and informative interpretation here. Uh, therefore, based on uh, this uh, result, we decided uh, to continue our uh, imaging on the short streamer uh, seismic data using list score RTM, which is more advanced to uh, even get a more detailed uh, interpretation of the, uh, this uh, zone. Uh, therefore, uh, for for this study first we do a feasibility study uh, using the um, forward modeling uh, and uh, the 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 array is and the survey is exactly like the short streamer uh, seismic data uh, in real condition and then uh, we apply list score rtm on the data why list score RTM? Uh, as you know, seismic techniques remain the main tools to investigate the deep crust. Various approaches, approaches uh, like uh, Kirchhoff uh, migration, Gaussian beam, and RTM were applied uh, to achieve a more comprehensive interpretation of the complex tectonic uh, situation. As uh, you can see in this picture, uh, reverse time migration is uh, is the most uh, uh, suitable uh, method for complex uh, uh, structures but it's very expensive uh, therefore if uh, we talk about uh, reverse time migration it uh, doesn't uh, use high uh, frequency approximation and inherently it handles multi-pass and multi-arrivals on the other hand, uh, RTM has uh, some disadvantages. RTM is a reversal procedure of seismic wave propagation, but uh, conventional RTM does not formulate this reversal procedure as an inverse problem. Uh, and also, uh, it uh, utilizes a cross-correlation imaging uh, condition, uh, while a deconvolution imaging condition should be employed uh, to preserve amplitude and provide the uh, correct reflectivity. Therefore, to mitigate those issues, 
uh, we can consider list score RTM uh, which is uh, successfully applied for hydrocarbon purposes uh, but uh, but uh, its efficiency on sophisticated crustal scale target is not fully discovered therefore it can be a hot topic to investigate here uh, we uh, demonstrate an example of applying different uh, imaging methods on a on a structure with steep deep uh, flanks uh, as you can see for a uh, kirchhoff uh, uh, image uh, we uh, we cannot uh, detect the uh, flanks and also it doesn't uh, provide a clear image uh, but in RTM we, we can uh, uh, image the flanks and uh, we have a, a better uh, result even even the amplitude is not distributed uh, equally in uh, in all area here in higher in a shallower part we have higher amplitude and in lower part and deeper parts we have uh, 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 low amplitude on the other hand the list score rtm uh, nicely uh, image the uh, flanks and also the amplitude is evenly uh, distributed in all areas uh, with uh, we, then we have a higher resolution image another example where we compare rtm and least square rtm results on a salt dome uh, here uh, rtm uh, give the the structure but uh, in list score rtm we can see the flanks uh, better and also uh, high higher uh, resolution for uh, this area and even for lower deeper parts we have a higher resolution and uh, the events are detected uh, better Therefore, uh, in this uh, research, we try to examine the effect efficiency of least score imaging technique on uh, complex uh, crustal scale uh, geological structures. Uh, and also, we, we try to test the suitability of the least score RTM uh, for applying on a short offset uh, multi channel seismic. Uh, another uh, objective is to compare the imaging results of Kirchhoff depth migration and the list score RTM to define the, uh, the, the best method uh, for uh, crustal scale depth imaging and uh, finally uh, we attempt to indicate the least limitation of the technique and overcome uh, them for this study which is a feasibility study first we use a forward modeling and then we apply kirchhoff migration on the uh, synthetic data and also list score uh, rtm on the synthetic data then we compare the results of uh, kirchhoff depth migration and uh, list score rtm uh, for the first step uh, which is a forward modeling uh, we try to follow the geometry of the 2D MCS data set acquired in 2000 and also for the velocity and density models uh, we, we extracted uh, it from the Go3D OBS model and this uh, model is inspired from the previous studies and it's a combination of uh, different, uh, uh, different features in uh, subduction zones in Nankai Trough uh, and uh, for, uh, for modeling we use the finite difference and source uh, is the Ricker wavelet here in the right side you can see the configuration for survey is the off and array and uh, different parameters are uh, demonstrated here a list score RTM workflow is presented in this slide. Uh, 
uh, the first step is implementing a conventional RTM on on the input data and also input velocity model to gain the reflectivity and initial image the resulting reflectivity model is uh, then utilized in forward modeling to obtain the synthetic data uh, and uh, this uh, synthetic data uh, is uh, deducted from seismic data to get the data residual uh, by afterward the gradient is uh, calculated by conducting RTM on the data residual the gradient is used to amend the and update the reflectivity model uh, which is here and this loop uh, will be continued until a certain data uh, residual uh, level is uh, reached then uh, we have the final image so in the results section uh, we start with forward modeling outputs as you can see here the velocity model uh, the length is around 175 kilometer and the depth is uh, around 30 kilometer and the velocity uh, is changing from uh, 1.5 kilometer per second to uh, 9 kilometer per second and here we have the shot gathers uh, at uh, 91 kilometer uh, some samples as you can see the time is around 16 uh, the recording time is around 16 uh, 16 second and the shot gathers after a few few steps a uh, few processing steps can be used for imaging and uh, so velocity model and uh, the shot gathers are inputs for uh, imaging algorithm for kickoff and the list score rtm imaging uh, we try to use uh, not only exact velocity model which is used in uh, forward modeling uh, but also uh, we utilize a smooth velocity model and a velocity with 10 percent error to investigate the ability of uh, these algorithms uh, to handle uh, errors uh, which is quite possible uh, and likely to see in uh, in the processing of uh, real data uh, so th therefore we, we can get a better understanding about uh, uh, the performance of those algorithms uh, in real situation this uh, slide is uh, demonstrating the Kirchhoff uh, depth migration uh, algorithm uh, here we have an uh, image obtained using exact velocity model uh, then uh, with smooth velocity and also 10% error velocity uh, I need to mention that the travel times were calculated via a fast marching iconal solver uh, and uh, if uh, we want to compare uh, we can find that uh, here the reflectivity the reflector is image uh, uh, nicely but in those images uh, we missed uh, some parts of the reflectors here and also we have more distortions in this part and one more thing is that uh, we have uh, mis uh, positioning for a smooth uh, velocity model image uh, which is shifted down and uh, this event is shifted up since uh, we have uh, uh, lo lower values for velocity in this model uh, so but still we can say that Kirchhoff migration can detect some events even in, uh, in the even situations that we have error uh, to illustrate the mispositioning uh, we overlaid velocity on the images and as you can see uh, it is it is uh, shown clearly that uh, we have uh, how much mispositioning and in which direction uh, for example here is we have the upward uh, shift and here downward 
and also for those uh, on those events in this slide we have a more comprehensive uh, comparison between RTM list score RTM and Kirchhoff uh, images uh, if we want to compare RTM with list score RTM as you can see for example here we have a lower amplitude while in list score RTM we uh, we could uh, correct the uh, image uh, and also in this part we have a higher uh, resolution uh, and lower resolution in RTM uh, moreover we remove those uh, noises here uh, but we don't have in list score RTM uh, so we can say uh, list score RTM in terms of uh, amplitude is more uh, well distributed and uh, uh, we can get more uh, information but uh, the main target for this study was to compare list score RTM with Kirchhoff as you can see that uh, list score RTM is uh, superior than Kirchhoff image uh, where for example here we have more details and uh, also for steep dips uh, Kirchhoff uh, failed to image it but in list score RTM we have it and uh, in this area also we have a better reflector than Kirchhoff image uh, one more thing is about this uh, smiling effects that uh, in list score RTM we solve that problem uh, and uh, here we have a, a deep uh, event that is not uh, imaged in Kirchhoff uh, uh, algorithm so we can conclude that uh, list score RTM is more powerful and there is uh, moreover we investigated the uh, errors in velocity in list score RTM algorithm and uh, we detected the mispositioning uh, yet the results are uh, good and we have uh, more details uh, even we have error in the velocity uh, so so we can uh, suggest a list score RTM uh, for future studies on the real data as uh, we can detect the events even with uh, some uh, mispositioning amount in conclusion an investigation on uh, capability of list score RTM to enhance imaging of a deep subduction zone was conducted list score RTM was robust to image the steep deep layers and faults not only in shallower parts but also in crustal scale of 30 km moreover the list score RTM resolved the issue of imaging events below strong interfaces and illustrate the continuous layers overall uh, list score RTM was more efficient than Kirchhoff PSTM to balance and preserve the amplitude, boost the resolution of image and remove the artifacts. Therefore, we can recommend it for future works on a crustal scale uh, imaging using list score RTM. Thank you very much for your attention. Okay, thank you so much Dr. Yasser for a very nice presentation. Uh, I hope our listeners have learned something uh, about the research which you have performed. And uh, for our listener, uh, please follow the paper, research paper, uh, using the link below in the description box. As well as uh, you can contact Dr. Yasir, myself, for any further question regarding this research paper. Or if you have some idea about the future collaboration so we can also collaborate each other and for for a better research outcome so with that's all uh, i think that's uh, that's all for today and i hope we will continue with this type of lecture series and we will invite dr yasir again for another research paper or something else and also some other researcher so please keep following us and subscribe our channel so we can have we can have access of all the latest technology as well as latest research which has been performed in geophysical exploration. Thank you so much and have a good day. Bye bye. Thank you.